Hey guys, Zag here, and welcome back to Thursday Reviews. And today for Thursday Reviews, we have the buildable Super Sonic figure. And it's basically Sonic. It's basically the normal Sonic. Like, I'll bring in the normal Sonic right now, and like... Yeah, they're basically the same, except this is Super Sonic, and this is normal Sonic. Unless you're colorblind, you wouldn't know the difference. Well, unless you're colorblind, you would know the difference. But even then, there still is a uh, big difference between these two. Um, I'm not like I said before in a previous video. I'm not a big fan of Sonic's transformations. I just like Sonic for Sonic, not really for Super Sonic or Hyper Sonic or Dark Knight Sonic or Dark Spine Sonic or whatever, whatever, whatever transformations he had. Um, and uh, yeah, it's basically. Uh, like, my thoughts about the buildable Sonic figure are the same about this figure, except this figure is a little bit worse. Like, Sonic has a really long neck for some reason. I mean, again, I'll bring in the normal Sonic, and... It, like, Sonic doesn't have that really long neck, it just looks like Sonic. But this figure does have that really long neck, and I don't really get that. It, it almost looks like he's wearing a collar, actually. But... Yeah, another reason I don't like this figure is because this arm likes to, doesn't like to stay, like, where it is. I mean, the joint, like, it was just all torn apart for some reason, so I literally had to glue that in there. And, uh, yeah. So, I mean, like, the paint is nice except for the shoes and, like, the small pupils, but the pupils do work for this figure. And the sculpt is nice. The pose is nice for this figure. Although Sonic is look like Sonic looks like is what I'm trying to say. If I would stop stuttering. Uh Sonic looks like he's trying to do that uh thing that they do in Star Trek, like I'm just gonna move him out of the way. Like you know how like uh like Spock and like or everyone else like communicates like I don't know how Star Trek works, but if you watch Star Trek then like, and if you know what this is, then good for you. If you don't, I don't know. It's from Star... I don't know anything about Star Trek, okay? Give me guys some credit. I, I'm not a big Star Trek fan. I don't, I don't even like Star Trek, actually. And I'm not interested in the new movie, but... I don't know. I'm just not a Star Trek fan. Wait, what am I talking about? I gotta get on with this review. But anyway, yeah. Um... There's nothing much to say about this figure. Just, it's basically the same as Buildable Sonic, except, yeah, there's just nothing much to it, but, should you get this? If you want to get all the gotcha video game uh, figures that they've uh, come out with, like the uh, Sonic Danglers and the uh, Mario stuff, and I think they did Zelda. I'm not sure, but if you're trying to go for that, then go for it, but if, you, if you're if you not, then just skip out on this figure. This figure is not worth your money, in my opinion. I think the buildable Sonic figure is much better, in my opinion, but anyway, that's enough of that. And if you want to know how big this guy is, here he is next to Dr. Billy Grant. All right, now that is it for today. Have a great rest of your week, and I will see you in the next video. Peace, Zach out.